I remember I wanted to be Jerry Lewis, and I became almost Jerry Lewis. Uh, I, and there was a comedian, Frank Fontaine was his name. I fell down laughing at him. He, uh, he was funny. And I used to admire those guys more than the singers and more than the actors because they would say something and 200 people in the audience would laugh. So it was my job when I was doing Sanford to make 20 million people all over the country laugh at the same time and never hear it. <laughs> but it was enough to hear the audience in the studio. But uh, yeah, I guess that's what started me. I, <coughs> I started in uh, professionally, so to speak, in college. In 1950, I started college, and I met a friend, Lenny Koropkin, who was an attorney out here now. We went to college and law school together, but we formed a team at the fraternity house. TEP was the fraternity, and we used to entertain at lunches. <laughs> and uh, we both had the same desire to go to the Catskill Mountains and work as a comedy team in the Catskills. And we got a job in the Catskills. We went to see Henry Tobias, who was the dean of the Catskill social director. And he was at a hotel called Totem Lodge. So we went up to see him, and he says, what do you do? He says, no, no, we, do we talk funny. He says, well, I mean, do you have an act? No, we didn't have an act. We had a little something. We did a piece, it was terrible. But we can, he says, can you tumble? Tumble means carry on, stupid and silly, jump in the pool with your clothes on. Uh, we could do that. And he wasn't sure. So we made an appointment to see him the following week. We came back, I put on a Superman costume under my regular clothes. And while we were talking to him, Lenny said, wait a minute, Saul, I think I just heard a girl call for help. So I ran into a closet, took off my clothes, and came out as Superman and ran out the door. He loved that. He said, you got to go show that to the Brandt brothers, Bingo Brandt and his brother Lou. I said, who's that? He said, they own a bunch of hotels in the Catskills and every theater on Broadway, the Brandt theater chain. They're looking for somebody. They'll love that. So we got the address. He called up, made the appointment. We went over there, so Bingo, the younger brother, we did that for him. He said, you gotta go show that to Lou. Lou was the older brother, was at his desk. We ran into the office. Lenny said, I hear someone call for me. I took off my clothes, and Lou Brandt grabbed his heart and fell down on his desk, <laughs> dead. <laughs> Bingo came in and said, get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. We went back and told that to Tobias, and he hired us. 54, Lenny couldn't get away, his mother wasn't well, and I always wanted to see Sun Valley, Idaho, since I saw it when I was 10 in the movie, and got a job out at Sun Valley. That job getting was wonderful because the Professor Stewart was my last class at Columbia. My four years ended, it was the last class. And he looked at his watch and said, that's it, guys, go have a good time, I'm going back to Idaho. So I went up to him after the class, and I said, have you ever been to Sun Valley? He said, yeah, I live in Boise, it's two and a half miles, hours away. I said, I always wanted to go. He said, don't move. He went into his office, and he called. One of the deans at Columbia was the father of the two guys running Sun Valley. So he talked to him, he called his sons, he came back in five minutes, like he said, and said, you got a job. So that summer I went out to Sun Valley and it turned out to be marvelous. You know, I'd never been out of New York or New Jersey. Now I'm in Idaho, a Jew in Idaho. This is like a Jew in Afghanistan. <laughs> and, uh, which there are some. But it was wonderful. Met some wonderful friends and saw Idaho and eventually bought a house there. Mm. So that was that summer. Then the following summer, we both went, Lenny's mother was well, we went back to Idaho to uh, Totem Lodge and worked again as social directors. 
that was a good summer. And then the next year we worked as waiter busboy in a hotel called White Row in Living. McRae was the name of the people that ran Sun Valley at the time. Uh, the next summer we went to a place called White Row in Livingston Manor where he was the busboy, I was the waiter, and we were hired to tumble, to carry on, aside from bringing out the food to make the people laugh, fake tray dropping trays and all of that stuff. And we were hired by the young people that owned it. Their mother, who founded the hotel, hated that carrying on dignity she wanted. I said, but they, Johnny, I said, I should, no, 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 we jumped in. At the end of the year, there was a show they put on and I was in the show. And the next day after the show, I came out of the kitchen with my tray and she stopped me and she said, a waiter you're not, but an actor you'll never be. <laughs> and she was right. But that was that year. And then, that was 55, 56, we went back to Totem Lodge for a year, and 57, we went to the camp in Fort Dix, New Jersey. I went in the Army, he went in. He was a year ahead of me, so he was in already in the Army. But I got lucky, I only, Eisenhower, who was the president at the time, came up with something called the Reserve Forces Act, which took college graduates and high school graduates into six months active duty and five and a half years in the reserve. So I went in for six months. Lenny graduated a year before, he's not, he went away for two years. So that was the end of Turtle Taub and Karopkin, also known as Taylor and Corbett. Because Henry Tobias, who used to introduce us to, to, our, to do our little act on Saturday, Wednesday nights, came up one day and said, look, I'm getting more laughs introducing you than you're getting with your lousy act. Change your names. So I became Stan Taylor and he became Lenny Corbett. Taylor and Corbett. <laughs> and he, as I say, is, then we both went to law school and uh, he stayed with law and I stayed with uh, writing. He's my lawyer out here now, Lenny.